All right, here we are, Final Fantasy Dimensions. I'm trying out uh, speaking as it is recording, which is an option on my Android phone. Um, so what I'm going to do... Wait, am I healed? Uh, so what I'm going to do... I could use some mana healing. You know, we go to the boat. Um, go to bed. Yes. And he sleeps for a bit. And he comes back to life. And all his stats are recovered. You can see that here. All the stats here are maxed out. The, the, like, if you look at, if you look at that character on the, it says hip, HP, which is hit points. On the left, it's the, how many he has and how, on the right is the potential. And that's the same with the MP. So, do, do. All right. So going up. And no, we're not going to buy anything. So we're just walking up the mountain and here's a fight scene. He has to use his big strong arms and blizzard. Blizzard. So these enemies are still fairly tough. I thought I leveled up a lot and my intention is to go deeper into the mountain. Uh, maybe I should go back and buy some tents. So porcupine thing. Not worth some magic. All right, that actually killed. Glaive is level up. How's our hit points? We could use a mass cure. Alright. So let's go back down to that Moogle to buy some tents. A tent is like it lets you sleep at a safe point. So we're just hammering away, beating up these monsters. So this game, I guess, does distinguish a line between good and evil. And that line is level up the, the characters on the character party that you are, are always in the right. And the character party that the monster, the so-called monsters, um, are bad. Why are they monsters? So here we go. Sundries. Phoenix down, that should be enough. Tent, I have four. Let's get, oh, I can't, I can only get five more. But that should be enough tents. So just getting closer to Because the red mage 
when it's at the front of the line can actually do some good damage. This guy can't do anything. Uh, Red Mage can cast black magic. And now Glaive. Draw Glaive. Change job. Make him a red mage. Uh, focus. That looks good. No accessory, no. So, nice treasure chest. Bard's tunic. I don't know who to give that to. I think that would go to a thief. So these guys should be able to get that done. And we attack there. This is actually difficult recording while making a narration. So our top two characters are poisoned, but we are okay with that. Actually, knocked uh, seems to be pretty low on hit points. Getting leveled up. Menu. Draw, job, knocked. I'm going to increase his monk magic of a Okay, she still has a good amount of MP. There we go, here everyone. So we're going down here, up here. Aha, and we're in the mountain. Or are we? We just went through a pass. I drops. Here's darkness. Darkness is something that uh, makes it hard to give a physical attack. So Glaive is now a good red mage. We have a black mage with white magic and two red mages. So we're really spell heavy. So we have to kill these frontline monsters before we get to the slimes, I think. Okay. So keep going. And kill that slime with some fire. Okay. Okay. Go up. Okay. 
kill the rat. Get rid of the rats, the wild rats. They are infesting the mountains. Go on, love up. HP plus 20. So that's Diane. Diana, what's she going to do now? Yeah, first we'll, yeah. Okay. Good job. So I can make her a black wizard. White magic. Okay. And row. Go up here. Here's our hit points. Hit points are fine. This is, we're getting weak because we have so much magic. I'll be level up. Here we go. Okay. I want to get the summit yet. I want to get all the magic we can get. And all the treasure we can get. Okay, that long sword was good. So now we're at the summit. And a cure point. So the magic, the ice magic against the red demon just kind of makes sense. Oops. Menu. Item. Tent.
So they're sleeping, awake, save. Save. Okay.